in the Green Party of Canada, we start from the core assumption that the majority of fossil fuel reserves have to stay in the ground if we're to avoid dangerous climate change in the future. This isn't a political speculation. This is the best available scientific evidence that we have. Seen in this context, all energy developments and pipeline projects will have to undergo a sniff test to see whether they're going to cause a net increase in greenhouse gas emissions. This means that the climate impacts of new pipelines will have to be taken into account as part of any inquiry into whether a project should go ahead. But the National Energy Board claims that its mandate does not allow it to take into account any impacts upstream or downstream of a proposed pipeline. And this is plainly unacceptable. How can the NEB not take into account the planetary impacts of the very product that's going to be transported in these pipelines? This refusal to see the bigger picture exposes more cracks in the facade of a pipeline inquiry process that is sadly broken and which lacks social license. And if the NEB really is barred from accounting for the climate impacts of pipelines, then clearly we need to convene a panel that is empowered and that is qualified to do so. The Green Party of Canada opposes any project that facilitates further growth in oil sands production. Rather than promoting dirty oil, Canada needs a national clean energy strategy and a climate plan that leads to real and lasting reductions in greenhouse gas emissions. This does not mean that the Green Party of Canada seeks to shut down all production from the oil sands, but if dangerous climate change is to be avoided, oil sands production has to be constrained. By, by 2100, we anticipate in the Green Party that Canada's bitumen production would be mostly devoted to the manufacture of long-lived chemical and petrochemical products rather than fuel. And we need to recognize that the oil sands are a resource, but they're both too valuable and too dangerous to burn. Thanks very much.